Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So today we're trying out three fortifiers, four Havocs, and a Space Shift. I know this build is really hard to play because you do got to get within 300 meters. 200 meters, sorry, 200 meters. These things have a really close range. So let's go try this out and see how it does. All right, so the battle begins and we're ready to rock and roll. We're going to go ahead and start off with this guy. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this goes. We're going to give him a bunch of healing drones and stuff like that. All right, this drone's got healing chips, so this should work very well. We got the two crazy ones on one side and the two regular ones on the other. And get out. Oh, come on. Move it. Move it, move it. So way too far away to hit anybody so I'm gonna kind of wait for these guys to come out to where I can get them there's someone who's getting a little closer I want to try and get this guy there we go there's some nope nope there we go later dude mr. Natasha I'll see you later thank you for the silver right Oh, is he going to escape? No, he's not. No, he's not. We got him. We got him. We're going to go ahead and phase shift because we're getting a little beat up right here. All right. Cool, cool. Um, un Unleash yourself. There we are. He's got the thing, though, unfortunately. I just drove myself into a really bad spot. All right. I got greedy to get those kills, and I just kept running in the wrong direction. So that was my fault. All right, so this setup can be extremely good, but it's also very hard to use because you have to get crazy close. I keep getting put up against full squads today and getting beat up. So, well, maybe not full squads, but really strong squads, I should say. I can already see we got some, some nasty people on the other team. I recognize some of these names over here, and this is going to be a rough battle, guys. All right, cool, cool. Got him with the thing. Closer, closer, closer. Almost in range. 60, 50, 40. There we go. Get him, get him. Destroy. Oh, he got the beacon. I didn't even shoot him and he died. That was a lag kill if I ever saw it myself. All right, let's get back here and hide for a minute. But this robot completely depends on his shield to survive. Did that guy die? What happened? He must be out of here. All right. Let's go towards center. So we need to strategically move towards the enemies without getting ourselves out in the open with this robot. That's the hard part about this. Almost there. All right. We got him. We got him. Double kill. I need to get within 200 meters. Here we go. Now we can blast. Oh, crap. I'm going to phase shift it. This is not good. This is not good. Mm, hurry up and do your thing, dude. What happened to my last stand? Did it go off? I'll tell you what. This robot's so much fun, but he's very hard to use, okay? The fact that you just have to get that close and it was such a squishy robot is really hard to do, guys. He, he's really tough from a distance, but I do not like playing him up close at all. I have a real, real hard time getting close with that guy. Once his shield is done, he's so squishy and he dies so fast, it's not easy to play. Not easy to play. Now let's get rid of this little guy. Heal this beacon. But it's a good setup if you can use it. Some people are actually really good with that setup. Other people, like me, not so much. Dang, what took all my health away? That Oh, that shell hit me with his blast nest that's nest all right here comes the crazy Arthur hey I'm standing on your head haha -ha. yeah this is a setup I've really been wanting to try for quite some time and I keep forgetting to put it on there but two shotguns all right two squalls and a uh, what's that one called I don't know what this weapon's called. Squall and... I know it's not Retaliator. Is it Retaliator? Yeah, it's Retaliator, right? Heck if I know. 
I'm insane in the membrane, so don't ask me. I'm trying to get close enough to hit that guy, but he's too darn fast. There we go. Beat that hawk up. Ooh, look at that damage. Bam. Bam. Still too far away. We're going to go steal this beacon from these nasty hawks. All right. I'm not really worried about these guys. Come on, come on. Start the land. Start the land. Check this out. This is going to be good. Yes. Oh, I wanted him to go flying, but instead he just died, which is a good thing. Oh, look at that damage, guys. At point blank, these things will eat people into pieces. Look at that. Arthur with shotguns is nasty. If you can get close enough, that is. I mean, it's just brutal. You got to get within about 100 meters for them to be crazy effective. But if you can get within 100 meters or something, you will chew them up. Check this out. <laughs> this is fun. He's going to try and take my beacon. I think not, sir. I think not, sir. Wait. Bam. Oh, look at that. Oh, they got me. <laughs> All right. I'm having a good time here. But bottom line, you know, the Havoc setup on this guy, Typhon with Havocs, very fun to play. It's very effective, but it's also very hard to use. Very hard to use. What is that guy FK? At least I healed him up a little bit. I don't know where he's at now. But... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, get him. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're beating him down a little bit. There's some guys we can hit. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ability there. Try and finish this dude off. Oh, he, I got stuck on the thing and I. Someone killed him. Good, good. Someone got that dirty rat. That dirty red rat. If it's red, we need to make it dead. That's all I can say. Holy crap, holy. That is a very. Oh my god, did you see how fast it killed me why can't I move I wasn't locked down I just stopped moving I, it's like I was stuck and there was nothing there to be stuck on that was weird oh, he's getting away cool 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 Titan got it that was a nasty Titan <laughs> that was a nasty old Titan I'll tell you what though those particular Titan weapons are sick if you can max them out, they will just eat everything. They do have a few drawbacks, but they just eat everything. How was I hitting that Arthur? No, can't do it, can't do it. How do I get these guys? Well, I guess like that, huh? Sweet. Yeah, back. Oh, battle's over. Battle's over. Anyways, guys, it's super fun, but I'll tell you what. I don't I don't really recommend running the Havocs on the Typhon. I mean, you might love it. You can give it a try. If you have four Havocs, I would give it a try, but I would save the Havocs for some other robot personally. It's a good setup. It's good for a couple quick kills, but it's very hard to get that close to the enemies with such a squishy robot. Because I'm telling you, the second his shield is done, he's done. So I prefer some... I want at least a 350 meter range. 200 is just a little bit too close for me, but it's a very cool setup anyway. All right? Thanks for watching, and please remember to hit that like button. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Think about maybe hitting that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys later. See ya!